Welcome back to the project. Now, while you've probably not heard of it, an experiment started by one Aussie scientist nearly a century ago has a cult following around the world. So, what is the pitch drop experiment? Science! 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 Science. Let's go back to that last one. This is the pitch drop experiment, and while it mightn't look like much, it is in fact the longest running laboratory experiment in the world. Started in 1927 by Professor Thomas Parnell at the University of Queensland, the pitch drop experiment was created to remind scientists that appearances can be deceiving. Specifically, Professor Parnell took a piece of pitch, or tar, which appears to be a brittle solid, melted it down and put it in a funnel. Over 83 years, drops of tar have slowly fallen from the funnel, demonstrating that the pitch is in fact a high viscosity liquid. It began to indicate that it was very happy to provide some drops, just as you would get from a dripping tap. That's John Mainstone, the current caretaker of the pitch drop experiment. For more than 50 years, he's been monitoring this piece of tar. And during that time, five drops have fallen from the funnel. But here's the thing. Neither he nor anyone else in the world has actually ever seen the drops fall. That's true. I've got close to it on two occasions, but um, I've never actually seen this happen. The drops have fallen roughly once a decade since the experiment began. In 1988, the professor went out for a coffee at Expo 88 and came back to find a drop had fallen. In 2000, determined not to miss it again, he set up a camera to film the experiment so he could watch back the moment it dropped. Sure enough, the pitch dropped. And, sure enough, the camera failed. Oh, so, that has been the most frustrating thing I think I've had in the whole history of looking after this thing. John picked himself up, dusted himself off and installed three permanent cameras which broadcast the experiment 24-7 on the University of Queensland's website. Oh. No. <laughs> right around the world, people that John calls pitch drop junkies, or that I call nerds, have this webcam feed open on their computer, all of them hoping to see the pitch drop. It's, it's not just scientifically inclined people. I mean, you've got people who write books, you've got people who write poetry, who produce songs, you've got uh, people who are philosophers, architects, sculptors, you name it. So, when is the next drop due? It's soon, isn't it? It's, it, it feels like it's mm, soon. Yes, 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 absolutely. It's showing all the signs that I would expect. And do you get excited? Are you, are you excited at the thought that this could, it could happen this year? Oh, absolutely. And finally, what does John make of this? Just one more question. Science? Now, um... <laughs> webcam in our office. I want to see that. That is awesome. Hang on. There's a... What? Set up a webcam yes, of that? Yes, it's like a direct feed for us. Just so we we can just watch it 24-7. That, 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 it's on the website. You've got the internet on your I computer, you know that. that. I just want a specialised service <laughs> just for us. Um, just a big thanks to, to John and everyone uh, at the University of Queensland. You uh, loved it, Fascinating. Didn't you? I, I was geeking out pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I'm surprised we got you home. Still want to come? Stay with us.